Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here. All right, so this is an update to one of my older videos. Um, it is uh, how to set up a Duck DNS domain name and Let's Encrypt SSL certificate for Home Assistant. Um, it's not super hard to do. There's just a few steps you have to go through to get this all set up. Um, so let's get started. All right, there's a couple things you'll need to know. First off, you need to know what your uh, IP address is, your public IP address. So if you don't already know that, uh, let's go to uh, pull up a web browser and pull up uh, whatsmyip.org. Uh, you go here, it should list your IP address there at the top. There is one other thing that you'll have to do uh, on your own that I really can't show you how to do is set up a port forward on your... Uh, your wireless router or your firewall or where you have set up at your house uh, that fronts your network um, because you'll need to port forward a couple of ports to your home assistant server that way it'll be accessible from the outside uh, so for SSL we want to do a port forward of any traffic coming in on 443 we want to uh, forward that to 8123 or whatever you whatever port you have open on your uh, home assistant server um, so that it'll be accessible uh, via HTTPS on 443. Secondly, for Let's Encrypt and for you to be able to pull down an SSL cert, you'll need port 80 uh, open forwarded to your Home Assistant server as well. Now that's temporary. You can turn that off or disable it. Um, you will have to have port 80 open you know, once every two or three months to be able to update that SSL cert. All right, so now all that is said, let's go ahead and move forward. All right, so let's go ahead and pull up the Duck DNS website uh, and get logged in so that we can set up our Duck DNS domain name. But we're going to go to Duck DNS. We'll log in. I'm choosing to log in with Google. You can do it however you want. Once you get logged in, it'll uh, it's a mine's just a free account. You don't have to pay for it or anything. It's free. Um, you just decide what you want your domain name to be. Um, so type it there in the middle. It'll say if it's available, it'll say success. And then down at the bottom, you'll be able to attach it to a specific IP address. So you're going to put in that public IP address that we just looked up. So whatever that IP address was, go ahead and type that in there. And once you do that, hit update IP. And there it goes. It says that uh, my IP address is now attached to that domain name and we are good to go. All right, so now back on our uh, command line, we are going to stop our home assistant service because you don't want it. You don't want that service running while you're trying to do your Let's Encrypt uh, download of the SSL cert. So we'll stop that service. Give it a second to stop. Okay, once that service is stopped. We are going to create a certbot directory inside our home assistant folder. So go ahead and do a mkdir certbot. And then let's go ahead and move into that directory. And now we're going to go ahead and download uh, certbot auto. Again, I'll put this uh, in our description down at the bottom so that you can just copy and paste it. But we're going to do a wget and download that certbot auto file. And we need to, of course, make that executable. So let's do a shmod uh, a plus x certbot dash auto. All right, so now we are ready to run our uh, certbot auto script to download the SSL cert. And again, I'll have all this in the description. Uh, it's kind of a lengthy uh, command here. Put in your 
your email address that you have attached to your domain name. Put in our domain name. Like I said, you have to have port 80 open for this to work. Assuming that you do, it should come back and say successful. Let's see here. Congratulations, blah, blah, blah. Your cert has been created. That's exactly what you want to see. So now we now have our cert uh, downloaded on our machine and configured. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So I'm going to uh, switch over to root. So I'll do a sudo su dash. And all these are stored in the Let's Encrypt folder. So let's do a CD Etsy Let's Encrypt. We need to change. Uh, we need to change some of the privileges for a couple of folders on there for Home Assistant to have access. So we'll do a shimod r 0755 and we'll do that for both live and archive. So do that for both directories so that Home Assistant will be able to access them. And then I'm just going to I'm just going to go into the directory and show you what all, where all the files are. So we'll go into live and then you'll have a folder with the name of your domain name. And there it is. You can see there's a fullchain.pim and prevkey.pim. That's the two files that we'll need. All right, so now we are ready to edit our configuration.yaml file. So we're going to go down here to HTTP. And we're going to update our uh, SSL certificate. And point it at the new one that we just created, which was an Etsy Let's Encrypt. fullchain.pin All right, let's move down and do the same thing for SSL key. privkey.pin And of course, let's update our base URL to point to the actual domain name. All right, so we have updated our configuration.yaml file. So let's go ahead and save that. And now we are ready to reboot Home Assistant for these changes to take effect. So do a sudo systemctl start home-assistant. All right, give that a second to come back up. And let's go ahead and take a look at that. Go ahead and pull up the web GUI, get logged in. And 
And there it is. Of course, in the top corner, you can see it's now green uh, HTTPS because we have a valid public SSL cert that's a signed cert by Let's Encrypt. And of course, we're running off our new DuckDNS domain name, so we are good to go. Like I said, it's not a super hard tutorial. Uh, it can be a little bit confusing. You're making sure you follow all the steps. The one thing for sure that you need to make sure you do um, after you're done with this whole setup is you probably want to go ahead and close port 80 um, you know, on your router or firewall just because there's no reason to leave that open going to your home assistant server. Uh, other than that, that's the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you do, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, certainly hit me up in the comments below. If, um, if there are any videos that you want to see that I don't already have out there or something, also hit me up in the comments and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.